Korea Media's Mining Weekly is interviewing Kurbis Lutz, the CEO of Pan African Resources, which has just proved that investment can take place in South Africa very successfully. This project at Bukhali City has come in below budget and ahead of schedule, and it will mean a great environmental improvement and a lot of jobs for the people of the West Rand. Kurbis, this is a masterstroke, many say. Can you tell us what the benefit is going to be for South Africa and the region? Yeah, well, Martin, we're clearly delighted to be here today. Um, we've built a 2.5 billion rand operation in 14 months. I think that's exceptional. And it's exciting, yes. I mean, we'll be doing 50 to 60,000 ounces a year of gold out of uh, MTR for 20 years or more with uh, Soweto. And very importantly, also in terms of cost, we estimate it will be below $1,000 an ounce all in sustaining, which is exceptional and is world class. Fantastic. And how many people are you going to employ here? And what are they going to do? Martin, we have uh, currently uh, 1,600 people on site, uh, including the construction contractors. Ultimately, we'll have about 500 permanent staff at the operation and with remining. So it's great in terms of economic opportunity and employment in this area. And you've looked in about 10 countries to see where investments can go, go, go for Pan-African. How come you came back here and moved so fast? It's quite uh, ironic, uh, Martin. We've been pretty much all over Africa looking uh, for opportunities uh, in terms of expanding our business. And as you say, yes, ultimately we've come back less than an hour from our corporate office in Johannesburg. And uh, yes, I mean, it's 1.1 million ounces of recoverable gold in reserve that we have here when we include Soweto. And we acquired all of it for just over a dollar per ounce, which is fantastic. When I came here last, it looked like it was going to be a very difficult task because we saw people who were construction mafia banging on the doors and saying, hey, get out of here, guys, or help us. How did you get around all that? Well, um, there was a massive effort uh, in terms of uh, the community and in terms of our engagement with legitimate stakeholders. And ultimately, Pan-African is here for the benefit of all legitimate stakeholders, and we proved that point. What sort of skills are you developing for the local people? Well, uh, certainly the uh, SLPs, Martin, and all of the other investments in, into the schools and, and the infrastructure will benefit everybody. That's very exciting. And yes, uh, as I said, economic opportunity and employment, which has not been here before. And how soon will we be able to pay this 2.5 billion rand back? Well, at the current gold price, was, which is clearly very good, uh, we estimate we should be able to pay back our initial investment in between two to three years. What does this mean for Pan-African as a whole and its shareholders? It's very exciting. I think that now the uh, surface remining or tailings retreatment business is such a material part of Pan-African's portfolio. So we obviously have Ilakulu that does 50,000 ounces a year. We have the BTRP at Barberton, which is where all of this started in terms of tailings retreatment for Pan-African. And now we have MTR. So we basically now are producing more than 100,000 ounces of gold per annum from these really low-cost operations. And what gold price were you planning this when you started off here? Well, it's fair to say a lot lower than where we are currently, Martin. What is next? Well, uh, um, let's get up and running at MTR. We, let's demonstrate this plant can do the 800,000 tons. We'll, we'll get there in the next month or so. Uh, and then we'll look to expand this area. Definitely the Soweto cluster by itself could also be interesting for us. There are illegal miners, uh, but we are working with law enforcement and definitely our presence here has made a huge positive difference for all of the people of Mughali and Krugersdorp. And to you, Kubis, how does this make you feel today? Well, I'm exceptionally proud of the team and the fact that we've managed to deliver another tailings retreatment operation ahead of schedule and below budget. And what does this do for the environment here? You've got these dusty dumps now being uh, converted into wealth. That's right. So um, this was a huge environmental headache uh, for government. It was unfunded when we took over. Some estimated the environmental liability to be in excess of half a billion rand. I think it could be more. So with us treating these dumps, uh, we're going to reduce that liability to a very manageable number. Cleaning water, cleaning the land and repurposing some of these areas for exciting new development. So, I mean, our activities in terms of the studies demonstrate we actually improve water quality, which is also a huge plus. Pan-African is a leader in terms of renewables. We were the first miner to commission a utility-scale plant at Evander. We then followed that with a large plant at Barberton. Definitely now we're looking here for potentially a 20-megawatt plant in the next 12 to 24 months.
I think the biggest takeaway is that one can make a huge success and have a very successful business investing in South Africa.